Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. It's every parent's worst nightmare, but it is so important to talk about. While SIDS is never 100% preventable, and sometimes experts don't fully understand why it happens, there are actually a lot of things that you can do to help prevent it. In this training, we're going to address things that the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends, but we're also going to include one additional tip that is huge, that nobody else, or at least very few professionals in the baby sleep field seem to be covering. Tip number one, baby should sleep in the same room as his parents for the first six to 12 months of their life and within arm's reach when possible. Tip number two, baby should be in his own bed. The AAP discourages co-sleeping, though there are conflicting studies on this practice. In module four, we address safer ways of co-sleeping. Now the AAP does not recommend for or against in-bed or bedside sleepers, but if you do decide to co-sleep, these will most likely be a safer alternative to laying the baby on the mattress with you. Tip number three, the sleeping surface should be firm. A soft surface can increase the likelihood of suffocation. Tip number four, baby should always be placed on his back. This research has changed over the years, so if you're leaving your baby with a grandparent or someone who hasn't had a baby for a while, make sure they are up to date on the safest sleeping practices. Tip number five, offer your baby a pacifier as this has been shown to reduce the risk of SIDS. If it does fall out but your baby is settling down, don't worry about putting it back in. Tip number six, do not have blankets, stuffed animals, loose cords, or anything else in bed with the baby. Tip number seven, if you are swaddling, make sure the swaddle is secure. Personally, I recommend using a sleep sack as this can help reduce the risk of the swaddle coming loose, which is a safety hazard of its own. And don't swaddle if your baby is rolling over onto his or her stomach. Tip number eight, avoid using cardiorespiratory technology. These are devices that track your baby's vitals, like their heart rate and their breathing. Now these devices can be tempting, but when we mentioned getting one to our pediatrician, she told us do not. Technology can glitch, die, or just not work. Parents can also become dependent on these devices and become less attentive to their baby's behaviors. You are going to take care of your baby better than any device ever could. Tip number nine. Avoid smoking and alcohol use, not only during pregnancy, but especially don't do these things before baby's bedtime, even more so if your child is sleeping in your bed. Tip number 10, exclusive breastfeeding has been shown to reduce the risk of SIDS. Now, breastfeeding is not always possible, or maybe you just decide to bottle feed your baby, but it is good to note the connection. Tip number 11, dress your baby in light layers for bedtime. They should only be wearing one to two layers. In general, no more than one extra layer than you would wear to bed yourself. And that brings us to our last tip, one that has significant ramifications, but is minimally discussed. A study done by professionals out of Northern California found that simply having a fan on in the bedroom could reduce the risk of SIDS by up to 72%. Additionally, opening a window was shown to have great effect as well. While it's not completely known why these mechanisms have such positive effects, it is hypothesized by experts that it creates better circulation, which can help prevent rebreathing, which is linked with SIDS. So turn that fan on, and if it's not too hot or cold outside, open a window and get that baby some fresh air. Keeping all of these things in mind, we believe that it is so important that you do what's best for your baby. If something on this list doesn't fit in with your baby or your family, we don't judge. But as always, be sure to consult with your doctor and pediatrician. I hope this video brings you one step closer to a good night's sleep. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our channel so all parents can have access to the free baby sleep training course.